Good day, family. Welcome to Unity with Heaven. Uh, today I'm sitting here with Kimberly and with Kayla, and we're going to take the time to minister to, to each one of you. Uh, I had a lot of emails, addresses of people that are involved with Unity with Heaven. So uh, if, you, if I had your email address, I would have been able to send you an email just to give you a link to this prophetic uh, ministry that we're doing today. Uh, if I don't have your email, I hope that you find this on our YouTube channel. Um, not everybody watches everything every day, but hopefully you're, you saw your name there somewhere and you received this word. Uh, if you don't think I have your email address, um, will you please click on the link below um, where it says newsletter and just put your name on? Actually, uh, every single one of you, if you would, please just click on that link and, and just sign up to the newsletter. Um, when you sign up, I get a chance to get your email address and I have a heart to teach people the word of God, but also to give prophetic, uh, personal prophetic words. Uh, what the Lord said to me, he said to me, it's important for people to receive their blueprints. And uh, the way you receive your blueprint is from uh, intimacy with the Lord, but it's also from other people that prophesy the word of the Lord over your life. And then, of course, of course, you need the teaching to know now, once you got the blueprint, what do I need to do next? And so that's why I have unity with heaven. And that's why I also incorporate personal prophetic words to people in unity with heaven, along with teachings, because both of those things work together. Uh, so I want to encourage you, if you are a member of my mailing list, uh, and you come regularly on Unity with Heaven, and especially if you support me financially, then I would like to put you on a list and regularly just pray for you. And when I get I get a chance, uh, also make uh, videos where I can just declare the word of the Lord over your life. So if you want to be involved with that, just make sure that you click on the link uh, in the description uh, to to sign up to the newsletter. Okay, so. Um, the, the three of us are going to sit now and we're just going to minister the word of the Lord. And I want to encourage you, receive the word. Uh, once you've listened to it, write it out, pray about it, get instructions from the Holy Spirit. Uh, and ask the Lord, what do you need to do so that you can see the promises of God being fulfilled in your life? Sonia, I'm just going to start with you. So what the Lord is saying to me, that through faithfulness... Uh, the Lord will supply to you and to the bed and I just see how the Lord is just putting his hand of favor upon the two of you uh, and um, uh, I see financial income come to you in a way that you never expected to to happen and you guys gonna see a vision get a dream about what God is gonna do and then he's gonna start opening up doors uh, for you it's important to to keep your joy uh, to to just uh, be a river of life in your house. And I see how that joy also infiltrates and touches everyone in you. Uh, the Lord says, daughter, I love you. I'll keep you. I'll protect you. Do not fear. God bless you. Okay, Sonia. So the Lord also spoke to me about provision. And he showed me the scene where he sent one of his disciples to go get a coin out of a fish's mouth. And he instructed him to go pay the taxes with that. And I really experienced him saying that he will provide for you. And even though the instruction may seem strange or out of the ordinary, obedience and faith goes hand in hand. And with your obedience and your faith that you take it on, he will provide for you in his time and in his way. Thank you. Okay, next word is for Shanae. Shanae, the Father shows me mustard seed faith, and I see how you how you speak, and I see how these the small seeds, how they fall on the ground, they, they fall on fertile um, ground, and I feel like God is saying when the time is right, other Lord will make it happen, and I see just doors opening, and I see as this door open, it's just His glory shining through, and yeah. God's also showing me honey, um, and I also hear um, the Father shows me that He's fine-tuning you to His voice, and also just to be able to discern His voice, and He shows me that He's giving you a bold confidence um, just in public, maybe when He tells you to tell someone something, I see how He just gives you that boldness and um, then i also just see a, a covering of the father's love and presence and favor god bless you 
Today, the Lord shows me how he is taking you now into the next step. The Lord shows me how you are just leveling up and how it is going to be a little bit harder. But when we learn, we grow. So the Lord shows me how he's taking you back to school, how you're in the classroom of heaven. And he's just teaching you and nurturing you in every step and even where you struggle, that he will come and help you. The Lord shows me how he's training you to be uh, good with your finances, to be good with, um, with, with your character, with your attitude, how you have a good attitude. The Lord shows me how how he's just molding you and, and you're going to feel the pressure but I, I show you you're going to come out the other side be blessed hello Shanae God's hand is upon you uh, and the Lord is raising you up as a leader in your family uh, to even release that uh, that word of the Lord to keep each one speaking faith I see sometimes people start opening up their mouths and say other words that's not in line with what God is saying and you just kind of bring them back into line all right so Shanae God loves you uh, please write us a comment. So the next word is for Cheryl Rashmia. Uh, Cheryl, uh, I, I see how you take each one of your children and you bring them to the Lord and you give them to God. And I know in the scripture that, uh, um, what's it, uh, Abraham had to bring his son Isaac uh, and give to the Lord. And I feel that the Lord says, just give your children to the Lord because he's got a plan with each of them that you will sort them out. You will help them to grow their character. You will give them the finance finances that you have to, uh, to have. So you trust in God and God will take care of your kids. And I just felt that the Lord is just bring alignment in that area. Do not fear. The Lord is with you. God bless. Okay, Cheryl, uh, yes, so the Lord showed me how this monument and um, he explained the importance of a monument and in that case the importance of in the past where he has helped you out or where he has confirmed and given you the gifts and the promises just like David where he had to take care of Goliath God was there and God was with him later in David's time more challenges came and where he had to flee from King Saul and I'm sure there were times where he felt frustrated and and not knowing where to go but he had people around him that reminded him of God's faithfulness so surround yourself with people who will encourage and motivate you and remind you of what God's faithfulness is like for whatever promises you have okay the next word is for Christy Christy um, the father shows me you and him riding on a horse and it's kind of like like you, a father would ride with a little girl. I see how he just, he, he holds you and he holds the horse and he's just like steering the horse. But I see you like kind of, you're afraid, like you're, you're scared you're going to fall off. But I feel like he is just, he wants you to let go and just trust him. Trust that he is strong enough to hold you and control the horse at the same time. Just trust him. I really just feel let go. Um, and I see um, just breakthrough as well. I see the more like you incline to the Father, I just see like a breakthrough and God also shows me like little lights going on in, in the darkness and kind of like just um, making the path visible. Yeah, God bless you. Okay, Christy, the Lord shows me how you are just swimming in, in this pool, in, this, in, in the ocean and how you are, how when the current comes, you are, how they always say, just let the current take you and it'll spit you out. And the Lord just shows me how even when it gets hard, don't submit to it, but be in there, be in there. And, jo and the Lord says that I will be there with you. The Lord shows me how when the current pulls you in, that you are just, that you are just getting calm because you are drawing from the Lord. You say, Lord, I know it's getting tough. I know I'm getting pulled in right now but I am praying that you are here with me and even when you're in the current the Lord shows me his hand is upon you and he is guiding you out back into these open waters where you can just swim and swim be blessed hey Christy God is with you uh, you can hear God's voice so just keep on trusting in him uh, don't doubt yourself or look at your circumstances um, so uh, uh, what's interesting just before we started this video uh, our leader came to visit Shannon and then uh, they were finished uh, visiting and then Alida asked, hey, what are you guys doing? And they say, no, we're going to minister to people. And then Alida said, hey, I'm going, I'll come and help you. So thank you very much, Alida. It's wonderful to have you yeah. here today. Um, so uh, the next word is for Darshan. Okay, so Darshan, uh, there is a very clear call upon your life. And I see a, a spiritual leader uh, where you are and now the Lord says, okay, now I'm tearing that mantle in two. And then I see that two mantles get one goes to you and one goes to another person. And now the Lord, on the right time, give you that, that position of authority where you can function as a minister in the kingdom. And so do not fear, just be patient and be faithful to serve and the Lord will open up a door for you. God bless you. 
Okay, Dawson. So the Lord is saying that He sends us through the desert, not in the same way He sent the Israelites through is to refine them, to get them to become a holy people, to prepare them for the promised land. He sends us in His own way through the deserts that we face. And in those circumstances, His goal and His aim is not to get us down and to break us down, but to set us apart for Himself, to make us to become a holy people, ready to receive and get the holy promises that He has for us. So I'm just saying, do not be discouraged and run the race with everything you have all the way and trust in him okay the next word is for ella ella the father shows me um just i see how like when you're in the wilderness and things i see how you you search for the the treasure in the wilderness you search for the treasure that god is leaving you in the wilderness um and then i also see like you have a belt and then, then i see in the belt kind of like you would like with a belt with, with things where you can put the tools in i see how you have scripture like that and i see how um as you talk to someone or god sends someone on your path i see how you take that scripture out and you're like here and i see you just you're such a light like i feel like there's such a joy and there's such an excitement that's uh, around you and i see like that is what people experience when they see you and it's because you carry jesus like it's just naturally how you are you don't have to like put it on you are just that way because you have jesus god bless you okay ella the lord shows me that you have a song that you are singing to the lord to give him praise the lord shows me how he is also singing over you how he is blessing you and how and how just like that that portal of provision is just raining down on you and the lord shows me how when you get the blessings you are so quick to give the lord shows me how that that is that is your heart you want to give and you want to help the lord also shows me how you have your hands and how he's just cleaning your hands and how he's uh, in the bible it says give me clean hands and a pure heart the lord shows me how he's taking and he's just cleaning your hands and he's washing you clean and the lord shows me how he's making your heart so 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 clean like gold and how he's just washing you clean be blessed hey, hello so uh, the lord is with you remember the blessing is with the team not by yourself and uh, i see the enemy wants to bring you in isolation uh, and it also feels nice to be separate, but the Lord says the blessing is with the team where you guys serve the Lord. All right, uh, God bless you, Allah. Please write us a comment. Uh, so the next word is for Lepang Ferguson. Uh, Lepang, uh, what I felt the Lord was, was speaking to me about is two anointings that resting on your family. The one is for trading, to buy and to sell. Uh, and then the other one was technology. And I felt that the Lord says, I'm opening up new technology to you. Uh, and all of that is connected to finances and also to, to um, generosity, to sow into the kingdom of God. And the Lord says, your family will build the house of God with your finances that the Lord is going to bless you with. God bless you. So, Le Pong, so um, the Lord is saying that when you pray for things you already have, resources that he already has given you he's wanting to open up your eyes and show you but he has already provided you with more than enough so when you pray do pray for strength and for wisdom on how to use these resources because i saw how you were like trying to put out a fire and fire and how you put it out with this fire extinguisher and how the lord sent rain afterwards so with the resources you have he's sending more of what you need to provide the next one is for paulette um the father shows me like a like a brief briefcase toolbox kind of thingy and i see how this like the the tools in it and the the skill that you've developed to do it i see how um you were submitted and you were healed it and you were teachable for another leader a mentor to teach you and then you've been equipped and this mentor kind of helped you and showed you how to use this and i see how when you're like mature now i see how the father uses you to equip others to teach others um and i um i feel like sometimes when you talk to someone and that person in that moment doesn't look very open to receive what you're telling them don't be discouraged because I, I see how the seed will still land and the father, father will send the, the water. So just keep on being faithful and keep on sowing seeds wherever you go. 
Go. God bless you. Okay, Paulette, the Lord shows me how you just go into the river of the Father and you just feel the Father's love, the Father's embrace coming on you. And how you are you are just so submissive when he enters the room, how you how you know he is your father, but he is still your king. The Lord shows me how when he enters in into into your presence, when he comes, he enters in there, you are bowing your head low, you are giving him reverence, you are giving him glory, and when he tells you to stand, then you stand, and when he tells you to kneel that you kneel that you just give him all of the glory and all of the respect the Lord shows me how he is giving you new responsibility and um, and he's also going to help you with consistency be blessed hey Paulette God's hand is upon you God bless you uh, just like the walls of Jericho fell so I felt that the, those walls that the enemy has tried to rise up against you they will fall to the ground just trust in the Lord be obedient to him and shout his praises hey uh, Paulette, please write us a comment. Uh, so the next word is for Renee van der Berg. So Renee, the Lord shows me how you uh, sow a seed, how you uh, serve in the kingdom of God, uh, how you pray and how you declare the word of God. And as you do it, it's like every time you gain uh, more progress and you gain and you gain and you occupy. Now the Israelites, when they were taking the promised land, they were occupying the land little bit by little. And it took them a few years until they had that whole land. But it was the whole time a fight was they had to get all these demonic peoples out of the land uh, and, and cleanse that land for, for God's people to come in there. And I felt that that's what's happening with you in the spirit. It's like he took on, took on this battle. But the Lord says, I'm with you and I'm going to help you fight until you've overcome. So don't give up. Uh, just keep endurance. Uh, endurance, you'll, you'll overcome. God bless you, Renee. Okay. Renee, so one day you are going to be a witness and your whole life will witness of how God makes a way where there seems like there is really no way. And I really just experience God's love and adoration for your, for your humanness, for your love and for your kindness towards people around you. And um, I really hear how he's saying, Renee, do not lose that way of who you are, but grow into that compassionate, strong leader of a woman. Amen. Thank you, Renee. Please leave us a comment. The next word is for Rieta. Okay, Rieta, God shows me you swimming in an ocean, like a you call it something, but I don't know. But you're swimming in an ocean and I see the currents just like trying to, like the currents become very, very strong and you become tired and like a, your muscles ache and everything. But I see you like just looking to the Father and just like drawing from heaven. And it's like a, like a swoosh and then you're, you have strength and you're just kind of like, like not even trying, you, you just go. Um, and then God also shows me just like, um, he shows me persistence and then I see um, just refining and I, I really feel like a a delight and a, a, a pleasedness from the Father's heart. God bless you. Okay, Rieta, the Lord says that you will know them by their fruit. And the Lord shows me that right now he is pruning you. How he is, how, how he says, like, rather cut it off. If it's not producing good fruit, cut it off. And and I see how the Lord is right now. He's taking his pruning chairs and he is cutting, cutting off and he's helping, giving space to grow. Because when our house is full, we can't fill our house with anything. And we are a temple. So the Lord shows me how he's even in, even, even in yourself. We are just clearing out. He is clearing out like any diseases or any words that anyone has spoken over you and over your family he is clearing house and he is making space for for his glory to enter in through your whole body and through your family's body be blessed hey family it was wonderful to minister to you today uh, i hope you received something and you can go back and you can um uh, just uh, write it down uh, pray about it get a confirmation from the holy spirit and get instructions from god and do it and see that promises of God being fulfilled in your life. The Lord loves each one of you. He's got a good plan in the future for you. You are a winner. You are an overcomer. Uh, I know there's some people that come on Unity with Heaven uh, that didn't get a word today. So uh, we ministered to about 70 people. And, and if you didn't receive a word, you can always just in the comments, uh, write me your name and I will make sure to put you on a list and, and pray for you in the future. Uh, I also want to encourage you uh, in the description of this video is a spot where you can sign up to the newsletter. And so I want to encourage you to do that also. Uh, I love you. God loves you. Have a fabulous day. God bless.